Hey everyone! Today I'll be talking to you about a medication called Ribelsis, also known as semaglutide. Ribelsis is a tablet used to treat patients with type 2 diabetes. This medicine belongs to a class of diabetes medicines called the GLP-1 agonists. GLP-1, or glucagon-like peptide 1, is a natural hormone in our bodies, created from our intestines. GLP-1 plays an extremely important role in terms of how our bodies handle carbohydrates or glucose. GLP-1 tells the pancreas to create and release insulin. It also tells the liver not to release glucose into our bloodstream after we've eaten. GLP-1 also slows down the rate at which food moves from the stomach to intestines. It also sends signals of fullness to our brain. Ribelsis, when consumed by a patient with type 2 diabetes, balances the patient's blood glucose levels while restoring the body's GLP effect. Some other benefits of taking Ribelsis include no hypoglycemia, meaning no abnormally low blood sugar. Ribelsis also acts as an appetite suppressant and promotes weight loss, which is extremely beneficial to patients with type 2 diabetes who are usually overweight. It also improves cardiovascular health and reduces the risk of a heart attack or stroke, the number one cause of death in patients with type 2 diabetes. One of the most important things when it comes to taking Ribelsis is knowing how to take it properly. It's recommended to take Ribelsis early in the morning on an empty stomach with half a glass of water. Taking Ribelsis with more than half a glass of water or with another liquid can complicate things and result in the medication not being absorbed properly. It's also important to avoid eating, drinking, or the consumption of any other medications within at least 30 minutes of taking Ribelsis. Like all medicines, there will be some patients who experience side effects. When first starting Ribelsis, some patients may start to develop nausea or vomiting. This tends to improve after the first few weeks of treatment. It also depends on the patient's dosage, which is why typically your doctor will prescribe you a starting dose of 3 mg per day to minimize these side effects. After 4 weeks, your doctor will likely increase your dose to 7 mg per day. This is a more effective dose, and you should start to see a significant impact on your glucose readings. Some other possible side effects include diarrhea or heartburn. In some cases, low blood sugar or hypoglycemia can occur if a patient is taking another medicine such as insulin or glyburide along with ribelsis. Pancreatitis is one of the more severe yet fortunately rare side effects that can occur. If a patient taking ribelsis starts to experience upper abdominal pain, they should stop treatment immediately as well as contact their healthcare provider. If you have a history of pancreatitis, medullary thyroid cancer, gastroparesis, MEN2, or dehydration, you are not a candidate for ribelsis. However, if you have type 2 diabetes and think you may be a good candidate for ribelsis, be sure to communicate with your healthcare provider today.